Wow, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Gorgeous. It's not that cold out here. Sun is coming up through the expanse of clouds and it is just a gorgeous gorgeous morning morning shall I say gorgeous Good morning fellow YouTubers. Welcome to the Daily Digestion channel. So, what have I been up to? Well, I'm starting a new protocol. It's called the Living Foods Protocol, which I've basically been eating the living foods for, um, you know, ever since I started my channel and longer. I mean, I've basically been raw ever since I started on the vegan lifestyle but I've always dibble dabbled around in cooked foods because it's so hard to stay just raw all the time. And um, so I'm starting this new regimen and basically it's implementing more of Ann Wigmore's recipes into my diet and her program, which is basically um, the um, wheatgrass, as you can see, I am juicing wheatgrass um, quite a bit, and so it's wheatgrass juice, uh, rejuvelac, and this is what rejuvelac is. This is where you take um, wheat berries, and you see how it's bubbling up right there? Well, that is fermenting in here, like you would ferment pickles or uh, sauerkraut or anything of that sort. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm doing that. Um, I'm making the wheat berries. Uh, so, what you do is you sprout the wheat berries. And after they're sprouted, you pour water on top of them and you let it sit for about 48 hours until it gets the right type of flat consistency. You learn from doing it over and over again. Like the first few times I tried, I was just like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm doing this. It seemed like it molded. There was just always something that freaked me out about it. Plus I didn't want to drink it because I thought, oh, this is gross or whatever. But the more I tried and the more I researched it and the more I just kept trying and trying, the more I got used to it. And I use the Rejuvelac um, in smoothies. Uh, you can put it in um, nut, uh, you can make nut cheeses out of it. The possibilities are endless. This is a way to get more enzymes into your food, more nutrition. This alone has a lot of vitamin C in it. So, I mean, it's pretty amazing what the benefits from this are. And I'm actually gonna do a video on the Rejuvelac right now. That's what I'm getting ready to do. But I just thought I would give you a little update and share with you what's going on. Um, so yeah, and I'm getting ready to, uh, go ahead and do some wheatgrass. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay guys, I'm vlogging for the day with my first shot of wheatgrass for the day. All I've had is some decaf coffee with some blackstrap molasses in it. And I'm going to have some watermelon and then eat a salad for lunch. Cheers to wheatgrass. Okay guys, um, now I'm going to have um, 
some chia seed that I soaked overnight with um, some blueberries and uh, chopped up a whole banana and about four halves of walnuts and so yeah this is looks delicious and I was looking for okay guys I decided to add a little bit of cacao, cacao nibs and some oatmeal and then I added a little bit of coconut on top so yeah that's gonna be delicious guys and I'm just gonna stir all this up and then I'm gonna taste it and if it's just doesn't taste as good as I want it to taste I'm going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of a sweetener maybe some um, uh, syrup some maple syrup We'll just see how it tastes but yeah homemade cereal guys and this is so much nutrition so much more nutritional than your average box cereal I mean who are we kidding you're getting everything you need in there your blueberries your chia seeds with your essential fatty acids and your walnuts with more essential fatty acids and then you've got your oatmeal and your cacao nibs and your uh, oh, your um, coconut, which is a great fat. So this is a very hearty, uh, satisfying meal. Okay, so it's 11.30 and I feel like something bizarre is starting to happen because I've been mostly raw for you know and I've been doing this and Wigmore diet and the re wheat grass and the rejuvelac and I feel like my flora is changing so much that the gut and the brain is starting to interact to where like instead of craving something I'm not supposed to have at night I'm eating cauliflower which is really bizarre like I know my my stomach is telling me that that's what I need to eat it's almost like my gut bacteria is talking to my brain I know that sounds crazy but there's something about the rejuvelac that it has this effect on my body. I don't know what it is, but it's intense. So I just wanted to share that. So I'm having some cauliflower tonight, which is kind of unusual for me. Cause usually, I'm getting into something I'm not supposed to, like cereal or um, peanut butter bread, which isn't terribly bad, but it's not what I want to adhere to. I want to adhere to the raw living foods. So I think the wheatgrass juice is really helping me to get in touch yeah also I am not requiring as much sleep I woke up at 4.30 I went to bed 11 last night woke up at 4.30 this morning I've had tons of energy today except for a tiny cat nap that I took earlier that was I wouldn't even consider it a cat nap I don't know what it was just like a little rest or something but so signing off I'm gonna eat this cauliflower and go to bed peace